All right, so hi and welcome to another video. Uh, today I want to briefly walk you through my project for this year's WWDC Swift Student Challenge. And I have it running here on my iPad. So let me quickly switch apps, uh, close Safari here. Um, and this app is a digital e-piano that teaches you how to read some basic notes and how to play a little bit on the piano. Uh, I really tried to mimic the look and feel of an old digital e-piano with that black and white screen with those shadows. And I really tried to um, do some skeuomorphic designs here. And like a real e-piano, you have to um, power this thing on. So by pressing this button up here, I can turn the device on and now I can play freely on the device. Uh, you can adjust the keyboard size to your likings and even toggle um, labels on the keys. Uh, but the main focus of this app is on an interactive course that will teach you uh, how to play the piano. We can start this by pressing enter. Uh, there's some basic information. You will learn how to find the middle C, which is right here. Um, it's helpful to turn on the labels for the course. Um, I'll skip over most of the lessons, but I just want to give you a brief overview of what's happening here. So for example, on this screen, uh, the participants have learned about an octave and uh, I can start playing that. As you can see, the app tracks my progress and focuses on the notes that should be played next. And uh, if I get stuck, I can always press the info button and get some help. So the iPad then will guide me through and show me which, um, which key is next. And if I happen to play the wrong note three times like this, Help mode is automatically activated, uh, ready to, to guide you back on track. All right, so uh, there's some more lessons. I encourage you to, to check them out. And in the end, you will learn how to play Beethoven's Symphony Number no. 9 uh, called Ode to the Joy, a pretty well-known piece. And it kind of goes like this. All right, and if you successfully completed something like this, you'll hear the nice confirmation sound and you transition on to the next screen. So yeah, uh, there's some more to discover. I encourage you to check the project out yourself. I'll have a link to the GitHub repository where you can clone this uh, in the video description. And I'm also going to upload this to the App Store. So if you're watching this, there's a good chance that there's already the link to the App Store. Okay, so by pressing enter, we can leave the course. We're now in the mode where we can start playing freely again. And there's also an info screen that kind of shows that this is my submission to the Swift Student Challenge, some resources and credits. There's a link to my website. Um, and speaking of this, I have recently started a newsletter. So if you kind of liked what I've built here, it might be interesting for you to check that out. Uh, I do share some some projects I'm working on, lessons learned and, and like personal updates. So this is the last issue, actually the first one from April. And here I talk about an indie app project. I'm currently developing some university stuff and some likes and recommendations. So it might be cool to check that out. Um, I'd happy to see you on my mailing list. And let's get back to the camera. So yeah, that's uh, my submission to the Swift Student Challenge this year. Um, the best of luck to all the participants and I hope to see you at WWDC. So thanks for watching, have a nice day and bye.